This is the new car, this one will work. Ta da! <laughs> Door. And if you can't get in through the door, which you can because the door's open, you can always come in through where the engine is. <laughs> we don't have this problem here. I think I think this is probably far more reliable, definitely more reliable than the cars we have. So you know, you can always donate to make this one better. <laughs> Just opened this door and it fell off. First step, removal of the crap. So for this video, we're gonna try a different technique of voiceovers. You're gonna be as surprised as me because I've not watched this video and I don't really know much about doing up vans. If you've watched previous videos, you know me as Emma, animals are my part, but we don't have Edu today. So I'm gonna try my best to tell you what the volunteers are doing. So first, after they removed all of the stuff that they didn't need, we all tried to make a bit of a plan. But remember, we are a horse sanctuary. We're not someone who knows much about doing up fans. If you have any techniques, maybe you can tell us. So first, you remove the yellow stuff off the roof. No one wants yellow stuff on the roof, so that's the first step. Get rid of all the rubbish, and we've got an empty canvas to start with. Then we had to reattach the doors because we tried to get in them the first time and they just fell off. Now we can't open them again, but they're there securely and at least the windows work. Now we need to start painting make it all look one pretty colour to start with. This is just some paint that we found in the bin, but luckily it's a nice colour. Finishing touches. In the end, our volunteers got quite passionate and excited about it. It's the first time they've done up a van and it's become quite a project. Then quite an important step, we had to fix the holes in the roof. Although it doesn't rain a lot here, when it rains, it rains. So we needed to figure out how to do that. And of course, the massive hole at the bottom. It's not really very mouse proof. This turned out to be quite an easy job because we're really lucky that one of our volunteers is a very skilled welder. And this is all just recycled material we found in the bin, scrap metal. And now we're making a plan for the inside. I say we, I had absolutely nothing to do with it. They were making a plan for the inside. All scrap wood that we found in the bin, recycled materials, they cut it to shape, made a floor. With our wonderful drill donation that we had. If you would like to sponsor us with the drill, it's something we always need. See our previous video where you'll find out that the most spoken word at the Finca is who has the drill? But it's taking shape quite well. Now it's time to insulate it, probably more from the heat than the cold. This step seemed to be quite easy. I mean, I wasn't there, but it looks quite easy. So now really to get the bed going, because you know, if you're gonna have a live in a van, you're gonna need a bed. And here we are using that drill again. It happened very quickly, the bed is already in. Again, all waste material that we found in the bin, but they've managed to make, looks like a very big and impressive bed. And I'm really surprised by how neat the front looks. In fact, at this point, I can't believe it's the same van. I don't know what they're about to do here, but some type of furniture. Wow, look at that. So now they're just doing some final touches to make it livable. Well, one more thing is we need to move it because at the moment it's just in the middle of the path. So we got our friendly neighbor to help us in an incredibly professional way of moving a van, manpower and a four by four. 
I think Harry thinks that it's going to start, but there's no engine. So I don't know what he's doing there. But they're a bit more manpower. Cormac and Luca, always to the rescue. And Coco, he's trying to help, I'm sure. But it's going well. And I've actually not seen where the van is, so this is the first time I'm even seeing that. They're now moving it back to where it was. And now they've made a final decision. Good spot. I hope they like it, because I think it's going to be really hard to move from there. They seem happy. So, now I'm going to let Harvey show you the rest. Welcome to my caravan. Hi, I'm Javi, I'm showing to you my van. This is the front side of the van, in which we have um, a table, and it's also used as storage, so I can work here with my computer, do my stuff, and you have some storage just underneath. Okay. This is, these are my clothes, I, I put this to hang them and underneath I can have my shoes because there's a lot of space. I also have this bench here in which um, you can have a chat with some people, you can have people sitting here and people sitting here and yeah that's all in the front, now I will show you the back. Okay this is the back side of the van, we put a double bed so I could be more comfortable this bench here and then we have some storage underneath the bed um, as an improvement we want to put a little door here but still not done so maybe for the future and we also have some storage at the back um, yeah we have great views of the finca that's the compost and you can see the sea So I hope you enjoyed our how to do up a van. If you were coming here to learn, I really apologize that I haven't helped you learn at all. But I hope you've seen that it can be done with a bunch of people who have no idea what they're doing, YouTube videos and rubbish from the bin. Thanks for watching. And they're taking out the things that we no longer need. He's doing something else with something else. <laughs> don't know exactly what they're doing, but they are fixing the hole where the engine was. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs a hole where an engine was. You ruined it! <laughs> I'm don't know what they're about to do here, but some type of furniture. Wow, look at that. Huge difference. <laughs> And I wanted to keep the we call this steering wheel. I wanted to go to keep the the steering wheel. <laughs>